How do you tell a horror story in 40 millimeters? That's not a lot of space. It's the size of this base. Not a lot of room to work in. Certainly not enough for a big scary monster. So I'll just have to summon one into your mind instead. Plastic monsters tend not to be very scary anyway. Cool, yes. Scary, not so much. If you're watching this, you probably know a thing or two about fairy tales. Not the stuff they put in children's books these days, the old fairy tales. The ones people used to tell their young ones to teach them how to avoid the fair folk and darker things that wander the night. To avoid things like mushroom circles. But in case you wondered here in ours, there are circles of mushrooms that show up in the wild. Tradition has it that they're gateways or traps set up by the fairies. Mind you, those are in the cute little children with dragonfly wings you might have seen in pictures. They're living embodiments of the land. And sure, some of them can be kind and benevolent when they have a mind to, but most will think nothing of snatching a child or youth. Whether these unfortunates end up as servants, entertainment, food or something else, no one can say. Those taken by the fair folk tend not to come back. Now that doesn't look particularly horrifying, does it? It sure looks kind of fun. Not much of a story either. At this stage it may as well be a bear trap. Dangerous, sure, but uh, it's not going to come up and chase you. Sure, something might come out of it, but right now it's quiet. Needs a little something extra to let you know something is wrong. Something like a little stuffed toy, maybe. Children's toys are as innocuous as it gets, but in the right... Uh, no, sorry, in the wrong context, they can be terrifying. You know how in movies there's always that little doll on the ground when something horrible has gone down? Just to make it sink in that innocents have died there. And there we go. Much more sinister now, in my opinion, at least. Some poor little kid got pulled into the fairy ring. No sign of them left except their trusty stuffed toy. So, how do you tell a horror story in 40mm? I have no idea, so I'm asking you. I just set the stage, put some pieces down, and if I did my job right and got into your head, there might just be the beginning of a story brewing in there which I'd just love to hear about. In the meantime, you have a lovely Halloween. And until next time, bye!